All right, so we're going to be going to uh, a Petronix electronic ignition here. I'm also going to be replacing this cap and rotor as well. But let me just get it out of the way for right now. So this is a great little conversion to do. Not have to mess with points anymore. So whenever you're doing anything with uh, the electronics in your vehicle, I go ahead and disconnect the battery. So I'm going to do that real quick. Just disconnect the negative terminal. All right. So I got the cap off, got the rotor off. So, you know, here's the old one. I'm assuming it only goes on here one way. No, okay, I see what they did. Square peg, round hole. So it only goes on there one way. All right. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. That somewhere you're not gonna lose it. So in the instructions it tells you to remove the rotor, but I'm not doing that. I'm gonna to try to do it without removing it because it'll make it a lot easier. Um, there's one screw here that you loosen to get this breaker point assembly out. You gotta take this wire off of here. There's one screw holding it there, and then I think there's one screw. See that screw in the back there, and there's one on this uh um, right here condenser that's a condenser okay. well, shit. oh god damn it okay I see it it says to retain these screws in the instructions Head's probably right away. Rubber grommet in there, I think. I really don't want to cut this wire just in case. Like, you got it in there, it has to be a way for it to come out. So you can see here, this is the, the old point system right there. So every time, and you can see this plastic's kind of worn down. I think you can see that plastic kind of worn down. And uh, every time this cam goes by, the lobe hits that and causes a break. But yeah, that's not working at all. Alright, so this goes on that somehow so. through these how the hell are you hmm.
Okay, I see where they're going with this. Alright. Alright, so this is going to go on like that. So, you got this thing, so this is what's replacing the points, it's just a little, I'm assuming every time the magnet goes past it, it knows to, to send the signal, or to stop the signal. This is probably why they tell you to take the rotor off. This part would be a lot easier if it was off the car. Just trying to squish that grommet into place. See how many times I can drop this fucking screw down there. took the cap off, or the uh, rotor off to try to give me a little more room. Turn it. There it goes. That was a huge, gigantic pain in the ass. Okay, so now, put the rotor back on. Alright, I feel like we're we're halfway there now. So the magnet rides around the top here and the the ignition module is right here and you, it says you want a gap of somewhere between 0.01 and 0.06. So I'm just gonna try to get it close and if it's if it's rubbing when I tighten these down they tell you to bend this module down and if it's too far away then it tells you to add these little little gold copper washers here um, as spacers until you can get that at the right height
So yeah, I kind of neaten these wires up zip time over here somewhere. So the way I'm going to do these spark plug wires so I don't get it mixed up, I'm just going to do them one at a time. It's just like that. So. Before you put this on here, you want to turn these out. There we go. Oh shit. I got a screw. All right, so I tighten that negative terminal up on the battery. We'll try to uh, fire it up and see what happens. Hopefully she'll run. Just adjust the timing a little bit, let it warm up.
Fuck. 